At Fondazione Bruno Kessler, we work on religion and innovation, first of all in the Center for Religious Studies, which has been in existence for more than 40 years. But we also understand our effort on religion and innovation as an effort of the Fondazione as a whole with more than 300 researchers, most of them working in science and technology. The focus on religion and innovation is truly groundbreaking in that it opens up a whole host of opportunities for interdisciplinary research beyond religious studies and theology. A clear example of this is the investigation of innovation in politics and the law and more specifically, the investigation of the role played by an increasingly diverse range of religious identities, strategies and practices in pushing for change and questioning existing models of democracy, human rights norms, minority rights and so on. In approaching the various interactions between religion and innovation in uh, contemporary societies, we use a triangular model. The first angle is innovation in religion. Religions change over time. Can some of these changes maybe be usefully described in terms of innovation? And if religions innovate, how do they do it? The second angle is religion in innovation. How do the religious communities, or more generally, religious actors contribute to innovation in culture, society, science, technology, politics and the law? The third angle is the religion of innovation. Have innovation discourses maybe themselves turned into some kind of quasi-religious discourses? Has innovation itself maybe turned into a kind of quasi-religious belief system? As we state in our recommendation number three, we consider religious diversity as a resource for innovation processes. In order for this to be possible, we consider necessary to protect freedom of religion for all. Two areas of the broad field of religion and innovation have been at the center of our action research. Social and cultural innovation and innovation in science and technology. We consider these two fields strictly interrelated in the context of the general effort of FBK in the study of artificial intelligence. This endeavour must necessarily rely on a participatory approach based on dialogue and inclusion of a variety of actors such as religious communities, innovation activists and others. We think that our position paper is not only a useful tool to articulate our mission, our vision and our approach, but is also essential in building strategic partnerships and initiating innovative actions worldwide. Our vision is about all forms of sciences and all forms of knowledge to come together in one conversation, in one exchange for the future of mankind. And religion and innovation in this regard can be a crucial example.